Okay, my big question is, can I drop count on this? And I can. Now, in theory, I think, and and just to be clear, what I what I did there, just so everyone understands, is I was looking at this millisecond uh, class, and I made the assumption that this is this millisecond class. I see that there's this duration cast to millisecond, which tells me that this stuff here is being cast into this millisecond type, which then gives me the intuition, the hint that this is type millisecond. Therefore, I should be able to call the count function method on any millisecond, milliseconds class. And then if I do that, which is what they're doing here, it should potentially be able to stream this out. That's basically what I was doing in my head and why I needed to see that at the same time I needed to see this because I needed to pattern match that this millisecond thing here, I could find the right structure that it matched to in the original code on Stack Overflow to then tell me the missing piece. I, I couldn't tell initially if it was this time since epic or the count. I didn't know where to start the... Um, the method uh, invocation on millisecond. And then after looking at it, it it seemed as though it's uh, count. Now we don't know for sure, because we haven't run this, but now we're gonna run this and we're gonna find out. What we should get is around 5,000 milliseconds as the output if we've done this right, and we do. Okay, cool.